Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Today is February 24th, 2023. And yesterday there was multiple reports coming from West Virginia and Maryland of a white powder falling from the skies. No, this is not April Fool's Day, and it was not snow. Several local fire departments recommended that people close their windows, do not go outdoors, and to shelter inside. The EPA has asked people to send them photos and videos. I guess they're not going to the location, are they, once again? There was one Twitter post that said someone reported a small plane flying over their house at 7.40 p.m. last night, dropping white powder. We don't know yet what's really happening in Maryland with this white dust falling from the sky, but we'll keep you up to date. The EPA has requested that anyone experiencing these issues call 911 immediately and have their local fire department respond. They also advise to shut doors and windows and to avoid outdoors at this time as a common sense approach until it can be identified. Evidently, last night it was a clear sky. Here it says, what is falling from the clear sky? I've been informed from West Virginia to Carroll County, Maryland. There seems to be white ash falling and coating. Michael Triplett sent me a picture of the stuff on his truck in Westminster. If you have any additional pics, videos, please share and let us know. The West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection Agency has been asking for this as well. On Nottingham.com, they're saying the white powder is from New Mexico dust storm. It was spotted in Maryland and West Virginia. I don't know. That's kind of the wrong direction for the wind to be blowing. Here on EarthNullSchool.net, you can see the direction that the winds are blowing. Um, yeah, Maryland, uh, West Virginia. Let me zoom in here. It's coming from the north. And <laughs> yeah, it's not coming from New Mexico. I have it now set for particulates. Yeah, I don't really see anything. Um, let's go to, this is one part per million. All right, 2.5 parts per million. Um, and 10. Let's go to chemical. Let's see, CO2, um, carbon dioxide, uh, carbon monoxide, and SO2. And then what would this be? Uh, nitrogen dioxide. Let me bring it over. I'll bring it out. Here on Nottingham.com, it says dust began appearing in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia on Thursday night. And by Friday morning, it was also falling in western Maryland. So if it's only dust, why is the Hampshire County 911 Center Thursday night asking people in West Virginia to call its non-emergency number to report the falling dust. By late Friday morning, NOAA, Cooperative Institute for the Meteorological Satellite Studies at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, confirmed that the powder was from a massive dust storm in New Mexico, Texas, and Oklahoma. The New York Post had a post on Twitter about a dust storm in Oklahoma. Um, it's a highway through hell. That was dated February 15th. That was eight days ago. Another article from the 15th that says strong winds kicked up that dra dramatically reduced visibility, leading to a 10 vehicle um, pileup. Evidently, one person was killed. Some of the cars ended up out in the field, it looks like. Tyler James posted on Twitter, it says, Ohio, left, West Virginia, Middle Texas, right. My truck has not collected any dust before and after it rained. 
Apparently, some people think this is the result of a dust storm. It's not. It's from what happened in Ohio. All right, so this image here would be dust on a car from Texas. This here is the dust on the car in Ohio. Okay, and he's got one more picture here. Okay, that's from Texas dust storm. Yeah, you can see how the particles are real fine. Yeah, real fine. And what they got there in Ohio. Yeah, that's definitely different. All right, here's another video during that dust storm going across Oklahoma and Texas. And you can see that it's actually traveling to the east, not northeast. Here's another post from the 22nd. Uh, West Texas will have speeds of 40 miles an hour to 60, 90, and even 100 miles per hour. Wind gusts possible um, in the Guadalupe Mountains. Classic wind and dead uh, dust storms are set up. Let me click on this and you can see the direction that it's moving to the east, not northeast. Another post from Montgomery Fire Wire. This was 9.25 p.m. last night. Okay, here we go. Before you all start flipping out, you may have be seeing dust falling from the sky at some point tonight. Or maybe you won't. Very likely it is from the train derailment in Ohio. I don't know. No reports of sick people right now. I'll keep you up to date and let's click on the one car. See, that's some really heavy particles. And there's the other image. Here's two replies. It's not from the train derailment. Any dust from the Ohio derailment is long gone, gone, as the fire burned nearly three weeks ago. And we got another reply. It says, doesn't look like pollen or dust from Dort to me. And I live in southeast Texas. We get both heavily, and I've had my truck covered before. Never looked like that. Another reply said that if it was pollen, it would be clearly yellow. Now, Montgomery Fire Wire is a volunteer community-oriented form, news outlet for fire department activities in Montgomery Co County, Maryland. Another Twitter post, anyone else in the DMV Maryland wake up to their car covered in some kind of weird dust. I'm hearing something about a train derailment in Ohio. Let's look at that. Yeah. All right. You can see it better. I don't know. Do you think it's dust from uh, the panhandle down there by Texas and Oklahoma? Another report says this is not dust. It's all over my car and sticky. Won't even wash off the windshield. Uh, let's click on it and see if we can. Yeah, it doesn't look yellow like pollen. A lot of the news companies, which are, you know, controlled by the government, are saying it's yellow. But that's not yellow. And that's, yeah, it came down, looks like, in the rain, possibly. I don't know. Could it be chemtrails? Here's a post that says something similar happened near Orange County, California a week ago. I saw on a friend's Facebook post her newly washed car was covered with white powder after a light rain. Her friend shared very similar experiences. They were all very perplexed. I don't know. With all that's going on lately around the world, yeah, it'd probably be safer just to stay inside. And you know we're not going to get a straight answer. What are your thoughts? Please put those comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please share. And please thumbs up my videos. That will help with the uh, ranking on YouTube. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.